tracking the Cape Cod Shark Class of 2012 next. Cape Cast. Boy, folks, the summer of 2012 was a sharky summer here on Cape Cod, and researchers got a chance to tag 17 of the beasties, including two, Mary Lee and Jeannie, with ultra super satellite tags. We got a chance to talk with Dr. Greg Scomo, the shark guru of Massachusetts, about where the shark class of 2012 is ending up as the weather gets colder. Any idea where they are now? Sure, yeah, you can go to uh, osearch.org and click on the shark tracker and it'll tell you that, that Mary Lee is uh, off the coast of uh, southern Georgia, right about on the, uh, the line with uh, northern Florida. And this is where more, many of our sharks have gone over the course of, of our tagging efforts the last few years. So it's not a surprise to us that Mary Lee is down there. Um, now, we haven't heard from Jeannie in, uh, in, in about a month. So we, uh, we don't really know where she is, but we're hoping she comes up long enough uh, to transmit and give us a, a location uh, sometime soon. I think one of the things we noticed with Mary Lee and, is that she, she didn't stay long in Cape Cod. As a matter of fact, she left by you know mid to, mid to late September, started heading south, and her migration was pretty rapid as she moved down to South Carolina and Georgia, where she is right now. Um, you know, we've had sharks stick around as late as um, mid-December, uh, and uh, indeed, just prior to the storm, Sandy, we had uh, we had detections from six sharks still off our uh, on our receivers off of Chatham. So, you know, there are sharks that, that do stick around, and some leave early, and we don't know why. But so the movements uh, it means that they're not really spending any time between here and their winter habitat. They seem to have a, you know, be on a mission, so to speak. To, to get down south, get to their winter habitat, spend the winter, then come back north. 